what is up you guys welcome back to my channel it's super early in the morning but i had to pick up my camera because unfortunately my company was a product of what's the word i'm looking for my company was scammed recently and i just kind of wanted to get on here really quickly and let you guys know some some things that you can do to prevent um, someone or another company or another person from scamming you. So if you want to um, listen to some of the tips and tricks that I have to prevent your company from being a victim of scam artists, go ahead and watch the rest of this video. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I own a hair company by the name Allure 96. It's been up and running for over two years now. So give myself, I want to give myself a pat on the back for it. Now, I have experienced different fraudulent activity with my company. But this time, my company took a major tumble as far as being, um, you know, getting targeted as far as fraud, a fraudulent order goes. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick little story. Uh, as you guys know, I do have a wholesale program. And my host, with my wholesale program, you're not necessarily authorized to... You're not, you're not really authorized to sign up as far as wholesale goes. You can just place wholesale orders. It's open to the public. Uh, so basically, someone made a very, very large order through my wholesale program and come to find out it was with a stolen credit card so of course i'm i'm like a super on my shit business owner um so if something like that does happen i always definitely want to do the right thing and give the money back and all that good stuff uh so I, uh, the bank notified me and let me know what was going on and the bank left it up to me if i wanted to do the right thing and give the money back to the card card holder whose information was stolen um um and at the time i didn't get a chance to at the time i didn't answer the email back at an appropriate time so the bank automatically took the bank took a lot of money out of my account to cover that wholesale order and if you guys are familiar with wholesale orders wholesale orders are not cheap so my my, my business took a major loss um as far as merchandise goes and as far as funds go as well uh, but long story short the money then got returned. I didn't fight the case just due to the fact that um, the bank had let me know what was going on. And like I said, I did the right thing because my company has made <laughs> a lot of money. Uh, for those of you who don't know, which I do have a video about it, my company's made over $100,000. Well over $100,000. Um, and I'll tag the, the video somewhere above in case you, you guys want to, you know, check that video out uh, and see proof and things like that. But my company did make a lot of money, so I went ahead and, you know, did the right thing. But some tips that I want to give you guys is make sure if you are selling anything, whether even if it's like $10 lipstick, if you don't want to be a product or a victim of scam artists, or someone scamming your company, I want you guys to go ahead and apply signature tracking to all of your orders. You can do so uh, via PayPal. You can do so if you're paying for your orders in, you know, the United States Postal Service office, or if you're, you know, going through FedEx, UPS, what, however, or whatever mail carrier you're, you're using, you can always apply signature confirmation granted it is slightly expensive it's typically no more than two or three dollars more expensive but it's well worth it <sighs> and if you you know typically we all use websites so if anyone is placing any large orders i would you know any large orders especially wholesale orders or orders where they're spending thousands of dollars with your company have it so that they have to send you a picture id in order for that order to go out because typically a scammer does not have the actual photo id of the person whose information they're stealing now i know some you know scam artists who do this nine day they might have it but a not a lot of the times people just have card numbers instead of the actual photo id with the same name that's matching the name on card typically that's that's not the case so if you set it up where they have to send you a photo image 
in order to process the order through your website i want you to go ahead and do so and i know wix does it if you guys don't know both of my websites are ran through wix accounts wix does it it is an additional fee every month but it's definitely worth it i would say and then also Shopify does it as well. Now, as far as the other web developers, I'm not too sure. I would have to do my research before I can tell you guys that. But I just, like I said, I really wanted to get on here because hopefully my story can shine light on your situation as far as preventing this from happening to you. Because it would suck if I was a super, 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 super small business. Even though I still consider my company a small business, I have made a nice amount of funds. But for those of you who, you know, you're up and coming, I would hate for you guys to be a product of this unfortunate situation. But like I said, I really just wanted to get on here really quickly. Let you guys know what I've been dealing with the past 48 hours. But yeah. But it's okay. Okay. But it's okay, I will get through it. Like I said, my business has done amazing numbers and I know when there is a downfall like it is now, God always blesses me with something two times bigger or three times greater, so it is what it is. But I love you guys. Don't forget about my webinar, which is the 14th of December, all about email marketing and all that good stuff. I know you guys are probably over me talking about that, but I, for those of you who are interested, I am having a webinar December 14th, all about email marketing and being a pro at email marketing because you can make so much money from simply just sending out emails, which is super dope. Um, so I, I wanna give back, I wanna give you guys all this knowledge that I have. I'll leave the links right in the description box. Also, don't forget about the $15 off coupon code that I have going on. I'll also leave it in the description box. But yeah, I love you guys and I will definitely keep you guys updated with this news. But I want you guys to have a great day. Think positive and let's let's move the freak on, okay? But I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.